guys, Kadrian here from KadrianThomas.com, bringing you the best tips, tools, and ideas to help you develop and hone your craft as a beginner saxophone player. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing. All right, so today we'll be talking about how to tune your horn correctly. It's the worst thing you can do to yourself by being out of tune when playing with let's say another saxophone player, a trumpeter, a guitarist, a keyboard or a pianist. Now most instruments, keyboards, pianos, saxophones, violins, etc. They are tuned to the note of A at 440 hertz. Okay, so to tune our saxophone we are going to play the note F sharp on our saxophone but on the tuner it's going to show the note A and therefore when I play F sharp you're going to see A playing above because this is an E flat instrument if you're playing a tenor saxophone you're going to be tuning to a sixth below concert pitch or you're going to be tuning a second above so if it's C on the piano or keyboard for us as alto players we have to play the note A if it's concert C for tenor and soprano saxophone players you have to play the note D so for tuning the saxophone correctly as an alto player when the note A is played we have to play F sharp so one two three and your middle finger on the right and that is your F sharp okay and we're also going to use the octave key so in order to get this working we also need a tuner because that is how we're going to gauge our sound an essential factor in tuning your horn is that the mouthpiece is of great importance. The mouthpiece when on the tip of the neck of the horn, meaning at the tip like that out at the end, then the note is going to be flat. Pushing it in on the neck of the horn means you're going to get sharper. So I'm going to start flat so that we can push in on the neck so that I carry out this demonstration correctly. So notice that we're very flat right there. So I'm going to push in my mouthpiece on the neck some more to make it sharper so that we can go to the center of the tuner. So by pushing it in not very far, I am already in tune because I'm playing in the dead center. Now I'm going to make it sharp to demonstrate to you that the needle is going to slide to the right of the tuner to show that we are out of tune. So notice that we are out of tune. So we're going to go back to the center or we pull out some more so that we can get our horn in tune again with our F sharp. So there we are, we are in tune right there by just adjusting the mouthpiece on the horn back and forth.